Well, we just saw that story about the mosquitoes finding standing water mm -hmm. to lay their eggs in, and we just keep giving them more opportunities. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Whatever ponds aren't out there to, uh, today, <laughs> well, tomorrow you'll get a chance to yeah. see some of those. But the good news is we have three days of dry weather coming up. That so. sounds good. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's something after the long stretch that we've had of rain. So that's the good news moving forward. As far as what we're going to be seeing, the rain, I mean, precipitation-wise, it's still showers and thunderstorms expected throughout the course of tonight, tomorrow, and even into tomorrow evening. I mean, we've got a long stretch to go. It is a cold front sliding through, and you can see the evidence of that front out to our western counties. So radar tour will zoom in on at least the stuff that's closest to us. And we do have a thunderstorm that's sitting in Lewis. Now, Mason off to the east of Maysville and Mays Lick, you've got a little heavy downpour there as well. But then that line of showers kind of rolls down to Rowan County, Minifee, a little bit of Fleming on the southern, southern tip, and then more activity up on the northern tip up near Nicholas as well. So a lot of stuff out that way. Then you have this big line of showers and thunderstorms that are out in the western counties. A lot of heavy rain, but also a lot of lightning and some strong wind gusts. Now, nothing in this line as of now is severe. And I think that if there's any chance of an overnight severe, at least storm getting going, if not an event, it's going to be this little kind of complex right here. Everything north of that should be fizzling out. The problem is all of these storms are about to move into air that has not been worked over by any thunderstorm activity throughout the day today. So it still has the instability there. It still has the chance. But as of right now, the only spots that we have the severe thunderstorm watch are all of these counties shaded in yellow that goes until, well, about 30 minutes after we finish this show. So it should not be an overnight severe event. It will be strong thunderstorms, and this is going to be heading into the bluegrass eventually. But until that point, we just expect that it's going to be pretty much status quo. A lot of cloud coverage, muggy, that is for sure. Those winds have shifted out of the south and southwest, and that's why the moisture is increasing. So the future track has that line of showers and storms getting to the bluegrass roughly around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and then eventually moving on out. But we're not quite finished. Morning commute, a little bit after the morning commute, we're still talking showers. No thunderstorms yet, but the heating of the day will take care of that. Now we're getting the blossoming showers, eventual thunderstorms, heavy downpours, strong wind gusts, and of course some lightning with some of these things. Now. Wednesday, things are starting to change. Cold front has passed. A little bit of a trough, going to try and bring in a few showers, at least in the southeastern counties. Maybe a few pop-ups late in the day, but I think for the most part we stay shower-free. So we're going to take that down to about a 20% chance of rain on Wednesday. This is when the, the transition starts as we get into that better air mass. Cooler and drier. Definitely cooler. Check this out. 86, normal high for today. We hit it. 80 for tomorrow, mainly because of cloud coverage, and then cool air will push us down into the upper 70s. That's where we sit right now. That's going to be our afternoon high Wednesday and Thursday. Now, we will bounce back. It's not going to be a long stretch of cooler air, but it will at least be some sort of change. Now, tomorrow, same thing. Winds out of the south and west, so we still have the moisture in place. But once that wind shifts after the cold front really passes and the low is out towards the northeast, Drier air working in, those dew point temperatures start to get cut, and that's where we want them, low. Because the lower they are, the more comfortable it will be. Overnight tonight, showers may linger, and then uh, throughout the day tomorrow, not necessarily a washout. There will be periods of dry throughout the day, but just be aware there are showers and storms that will be hanging around. Definitely an umbrella type of day. Gorgeous weather. Be our middle through the end of the work week. You've got sunshine, you've got cooler air, you've got drier air. It's feeling great. And then the showers, storms, heat, everything comes back by the weekend.